One of the one of the ironies that I find is the only way that I can trust a little bit what I think I'm seeing and documenting um, is when I'm able to completely throw out all my hypotheses. And I think it's consistent with, with your opening question about um, about the danger of scientific dogmas. Um, and uh, and it w w but at the same time, there's no such thing as operating without a hypothesis because that's an ultimate lie, right? It's, and and what's absolutely crucial then in, in anthropological research is having this constant critical self-doubt, not 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 it, let it not be a, a paralyzing one, but one that makes you pick apart and distrust. Uh, your hypotheses, but be very um, excited by them and aware of them at the same time so that you, you, you realize how you're filtering uh, reality. Um, and in terms of the, the in terms of the, um, back to the practical, your second question, the practical engagement, uh, in a sense it's about the practical engagement uh, with medicine. What, 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 what I've found is that you have these extraordinary divisions um, within the medical, between the medical practitioners and the scientists, right? So it's a big tension in the medical school. So the scientists refer, I mean, have uh, the real, the hardcore scientists sort of think of the practitioners as plumbers. Um, that that's just not, it's not relevant. It's not interesting. It's just service work that doesn't advance anything. But the practitioners are actually often absolutely brilliant anthropologists. The problem is they don't know it and they do it without any critical self-reflection in a sense and they do it without daring in a sense to admit it to their scientific colleagues who have the prestige on some level of science behind them because now everything is evidence-based science, right? Evidence-based science means that it's a random control statistically quantified um, science. Uh, and and what they find is uh, these 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 practitioners, especially those in primary care and and, 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 uh, and so forth, is that the whole that the whole they that that they're actually doing their diagnosis by watching the person walk in the room. They can tell you what kind of depression they have by how they open the door and walk in and sit down. They've already made their diagnosis, and there's no room for that. Um, in evidence-based science, in a sense, that level of anthropological observation and all the dangers of it. Suppose you're just, uh, yeah, I mean, look at the patterns of, of diagnosis, right? You see very clearly that there's nothing objective about them. They, they change every three, four, five, or ten years. Um, so, um, so anyhow, yeah, that's that's. I think there's very fertile land, uh, fertile room with practitioners.